Hello Persona fans and welcome back to Trinity Soul Tuesdays, the show where I cover an episode of Persona Trinity Soul every two weeks and encourage you all to watch along with me. When we last left off, Shin was excited for his day out with Eiko. On today's episode, Shin is excited for his day out with Eiko. Oh, but don't worry, I'm not Groundhog Daying you, instead, I'm super successful screenwriter John August going you, because we're gonna see the same day from the perspective of the far more interesting characters. Like the broccoli lying in bed in her underpants while she stares at her cell phone. Hashtag relatable. The episode really opens with Takuro and Megami training out in the woods. See, Takuro is still getting tossed around like a ragdoll anytime he summons his persona, and he can hardly be our Afrosuke if he can't even summon Spartacus properly. Megami tries to offer him some advice that basically comes out as... You just gotta go out there and do it. Just loosen up and be tight at the same time. It doesn't help. So they decide to call Kanaru to come join them and she sees Shin in a car with Eiko, remember? I made you all think she was ordering a pizza, but she was really talking to Megami all along! And that one cop who asked her, is following her. That, that's fine. Ryo, who you probably only just now realized has been mostly absent from the past few episodes, is talking to his secret buddy and looking through secret emails of secretive secrecy related to personas and conspiracies and that one dude he killed and... Can't you at least knock? I could have been looking at pornography! Is that what you were looking at? Yes. And then Jun stumbles upon the book from the last episode, if for no other reason than we needed him to in order for the last episode to make any sense. Kanaru stops by the convenience store to buy some snacks for her friends and ends up spying her police tail. But at least she's polite enough to give him a bag of chips. Stocking makes him hungry and he skipped lunch. You know who doesn't skip lunch though? Jun. Because Mayori is nice enough to bring some beef bowls by to say thanks for, you know, all that magic he did during their ghost hunting adventure. And keeping true to episode 9, it starts raining. So now Ryo, Jun, and Mayori have their own awkward lunch. Much more awkward than the one Shin and Eiko are having right now. Jun is excitedly telling his police chief brother about all the crimes they committed by breaking into the school and all that criming they did, while Mayori has to hang out with the dude who murdered the guy she clearly likes. No one is happy right now. Except for me, because it's just nice to see Jun eating again. Really bring some consistency back to the series. In order to try and get out of being social, Mayori practically horko swallows her entire beef bowl. Hashtag relatable. But before she can nope out of there, Jun suggests they all go see a movie together. At the small temple near the dorm, Kanaru has unwittingly led the detective to spy on them. And he's sure they're gonna do something any second now. Any. Seconds. Now. Any. Hey! You knew he! You, you snuck up on me! Again, apparently! What, uh, what can I help you with this time? Uh oh. Is the detective also going to be watching a movie? A movie called Megami is totally a Persona user because we have videographic proof of that? Starring Megami and directed by Noboro Inui? ねえ、もっとこう生き生きした雰囲気出ないかな。波打ち際で倒れてみようか。これすか見せたいものって。刑事さん、好きかなって思って。無理だと思います。好きでしょ?What? High school girls? Dogs. I should go. Meanwhile, at the actual movies, Jun, Ryo, and Mayori are all gonna see the Cub and Squirrel story. They all act like it's just a dumb kids movie, but no one actually seems to be objecting to it, so... I guess we're gonna go see this. It's a story about friendship with music by me, about a bear and a- Squirrel. And then the Squirrel. family dies, but the bear becomes his new family. Something like that. The end. And I'm thinking that Randy Newman joke wasn't too far off because everyone's crying now, including Rio. Was this the latest Pixar film or something? 
Had to have been better than the good dinosaur. Jun notices that the way Mayuri looks at Ryo is a bit strange, and he wonders if he's the reason she and the one she loves got separated. He's able to piece this together because his vague, psychic persona powers told him so. It's fine, Jun. Ryo just killed the guy she loves. That guy, right there. So, naturally, she sprints off to find him, and Ryo decides to follow because he wants to do something in this episode. The actual scene here between Ryo and Broccoli is short, but tense, and I like how she bluntly asks him if the cops are fine with killing people to get what they want. And there are clearly some questions here, like if Ryo killed Toma as a cop, or as a Persona user. But before we can explore this further... Isn't that the guy I killed? Toma does appear to be back and even summons his Persona, but something doesn't seem right. He's acting as if he's possessed, not even recognizing his Broccoli friend. Or maybe he just can't see through her human disguise. Either way, Ryo manages to fend him off for a bit using Kane, but he ends up disappearing. And then our favorite weird random redhead shows up, because she's not content to just be creepy and spread feathers over on Shin's side of the story. She tries to Tomura Shigaraki Ryo, but he opts to try his time-honored technique of using Kane to shoot her in the face, which, to give him full credit, does seem to work? This is also the first time Jun actually sees Ryo's persona, so he's a little unnerved by it. Do you think it has anything to do with it looking exactly like this drawing Shin made in the pilot episode where he said he had a dream that this thing killed him? Nah, he's probably just hungry. The final dovetail of our two stories is Ryo calling Eiko down to the morgue because he needs to check something. Eiko, that guy I killed, he's uh... He's still dead, right? I just want to check. Okay then. Good. And that is where this episode ends. This episode, despite taking place in the same time frame, was so much better than the previous one. Shin and Eiko talking about stuff for 15 minutes could really only go so far. But this episode gave us a little perspective from nearly every other major character. The other party members, the cops, Jun and Ryo, even Inui came out of his shell a little bit here. No matter who was on screen, I felt more genuine character from them. And even though it was short, I liked that we got to see a little more Persona action in this Persona series. Those of you that are watching along at home, what did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you all again in two weeks. But for now, so long. On the next episode of Trinity Soul Tuesdays. Kanaro and Mayuri make out, maybe? You'll just have to watch the next episode.